DJI Goggles Integra and DJI RC Motion 2 Unboxing Unbox the DJI Avita Explorer Combo and take out DJI Goggles Integra, DJI RC Motion 2, DJI Avita, and the provided accessories in turn. Introducing Ports and Buttons You can find the 5D button and back button on the upper right part of the goggles, power button and USB-C port on the lower right part, and micro SD card slot in the middle part of the foam padding. DJI RC Motion 2 is designed with various buttons, as in, the power button, joystick, lock button, mode button, FN dial, shutter record button, and accelerator. The USB-C port on the bottom of the motion controller can be used to charge the motion controller and connect to DJI Assistant 2, charging and powering on. When using DJI Avita for the first time, it is recommended to fully charge the battery to ensure enough battery power for the following activation and upgrade operations. Press the power button once to check the current battery level of each module. Press once and hold the power button on the goggles and motion controller to power on the devices. Activation and firmware update. Before activating the goggles, make sure that your aircraft firmware is the most updated version, and the aircraft has been linked to the goggles and motion controller. Connect the USB-C OTG cable to the USB-C port of the goggles. Connect the goggles and mobile device with the USB-C data cable. Download and open the latest DJI Fly. If this is your first time using DJI Goggles Integra and DJI RC Motion 2, you will receive an activation prompt in the DJI Fly app. Please follow the instructions and complete activation. Upon completion of activation, update the goggles and motion controller to the latest versions. Enter the homepage of DJI Fly app, and a prompt read, New Firmware Available, will appear at the upper left corner. Follow the instructions to download the firmware and wait for the upgrade to complete patiently. You can also use the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series on your computer to update the firmware of the goggles and motion controller respectively. Attaching the lens. The goggles are equipped with a pair of eyeglass frames and come with 10 pairs of vision corrective lenses. You can install suitable lenses according to your actual eyesight. Even if vision correction is not necessary, it is strongly recommended to install the plain lenses to protect the goggle screen glasses from being scratched. The diopter of the lenses is printed on the inside of the lens box lid and also marked on the edge of each lens. Plus 1D or plus 1 stands for 100 degrees of hyperopia, 0D or 0 stands for plain lenses, and dash 1D or minus 1 stands for 100 degrees of myopia, and so on for other diopter marks. Detach the eyeglass frames from the goggles. Make sure that the shortest edge, A, the longest cut edge, B, and side cut edge, C, of the lens are aligned with the corresponding line marks on the frame respectively. Peel off the lens protective film after successful installation. If the cut edges of the lens are not properly aligned with the frame line marks, the lens will not fit into the frame. Distinguish the left and right frame and make sure the mark on the frame is upward when installing. When installing, make sure that the letter L slash R on the top of the frame is facing upwards. And that the positioning mark on the frame is aligned with the positioning mark on the goggles. Thanks for watching.